In chapter 8, the elders of Israel came to Samuel and they asked him to give them a king instead of a judge like him. Now at first, it seems like a legitimate request, but the more they talked, they revealed their true heart in verse 19 and 20, and it was this. They wanted to be like the other nations, and they thought it would make them look mightier in battle. In other words, they wanted to look cool and be like everybody else. But let's be clear, having a king wasn't the true issue. The issue was that the people were no longer trusting God to lead them. In Genesis 49, it was even prophesied that there would one day be a scepter in the bloodline of Judah. And God was setting that up, but they didn't want to wait for God's timing. Their approach was arrogant. Their solution was naive. Their motivation was impatience. And their heart was in open opposition of God's plan for them. But when we pray, we don't have to make the same mistakes. We should approach God as God, not as a grantor of wishes, but as the one ordering our steps. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. Matthew 6, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. See, the goal is not to get our prayers answered. The goal is to align our prayers with God's plan. Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. That means as we delight ourselves in God, as we are daily in the word, as we seek his heart in prayer, our desires begin to change to his desires. That is when we will see our prayers answered. Jesus said it like this in John 14, 13. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son.